Hey guys, this is Chris2SS. I am going to be showing you today how to properly install and use K-Tuner on a 2019 to 2023 Acura RDX or any Honda product in general. Um, today we'll be doing on my 2019 RDX uh, SH all wheel drive base. Um, so let's get right into it. So first you're gonna do is after you unbox your K-Tuner, you're gonna wanna uh, go to your car, turn on the ignition, ignition only on. Um, and then you're essentially gonna plug into your OBD2 port down underneath the dash. Um, you're gonna plug into your laptop. You have to have a, a Windows laptop running Windows 7 or newer. Um, you're gonna wanna install K-Tuner from their website. Um, it is a little finicky to software. There's some drivers you gotta download. Um, I'm using K-Tuner 1.2, which is the non-touch screen K-Tuner. Um, I got it because it's a little cheaper and I really don't want to have that screen laying around my car getting thrown around. Um, but after you install K-Tuner, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to open it. When you open it for the first time, you have to have your K-Tuner plugged in. Otherwise, it won't let you proceed into the software. Once you connect it for the first time and the K-Tuner is plugged into the car, it will basically say it recognizes the device and to make an account. So you got to enter your first name. I think an email and a password um, and then after that you're gonna basically go into K-Tuner and then I believe you go into um, you have to lock it to the ECU where it's automatically gonna pop up saying would you like to lock this to the ECU you click yes I believe it axes you again you click yes and then after that essentially you're gonna get to a uh, this screen right here my car's running so that's why you see that the the uh, these measures actually um, fluctuating uh, so basically you go to a new tune right and for example I have a 2019 RDX so it's in a pop-up saying a 19 RDX 2 liter turbo this is how you create a base or this is how you basically create a base map slash load in a tune so you go you click the plus you click factory click next and then right here so you have your factory base calibration so if you ever want to go back to stock you have your stage one smooth power delivery throttle responsive stage two increased power levels I would recommend if you're buying a K tuner just go straight to stage two as long as it says on the website it supports your current mods on on the third gen RDX's you could basically just go straight to stage two with a stock RDX you don't need an intercore intake uh, anything such as that um, I went to straight stage 2 and then basically you click next right so this might end up crashing I'm not sure okay so it loads up your tune here right now the car isn't it, I did not upload the tune so essentially what happens is then this thing's in, this screen's a pop up of all this charting and stuff. Um, once that's done, you click tuning, you click upload tune, right? It's an Exodus. I'm not gonna proceed because the car's running and I already have a tune on the car. You click yes, um, and then it's gonna bring up a screen saying, "Would you like to flash directly to ECU?" Now, if you have a K tuner 1.2, you're gonna want to click flash directly to ECU because if you don't and you click the one below that where it says flash to a slot you're gonna click on it it's gonna take like a minute or two to load but it's not gonna flash the car when you click uh, flash directly to ECU with the 1.2 it automatically is gonna proceed to flash the car it's gonna go through some warning messages um, and stuff and then you basically it'll say you're racing this is very important that you do not turn off the car I wouldn't touch anything. Just stay still. Let the car do its thing. You're gonna. The dash is gonna start to light up. It's gonna go crazy. Um, don't worry about that. That's normal when you're flashing a Honda Acura ECU. Um, and then after that, it's gonna ask you to power off the car for a few seconds. Um, power. Click power on the car and then click OK. And then it will say flash successful. Once flash su is successful, you can turn the car. From my, I've heard some people say that they've had issues where the warning lights will stay on for about 30 minutes or even a few drive cycles. I didn't have that issue. Basically, the second after I drove the car down the block, hit the first stop sign, 
the lights turned off and the car drove fine. Um, and then basically, that's how you want to, if you want to flash a tune, um, if you have a tune already, right, um, you could click open tune. And in my case, I had a variable stage two. So I click open tune, give it a second to load, and my desktop, I have my tune right there. So my tune is from variable. Variable stage three tune is great on the RDX, by the way. If you do have an RDX, it's much faster than the K tuner stage two. For a hundred bucks, it's totally worth it. I've had no issues with um, like stuttering anything with the car. The car drives really smooth. Uh, the launches are insane. I've had a my fastest zero to sixty at the moment on stock tires, no pedal dance, was four point eight five zero to sixty, which is pretty fast for. A 4,000 pound 2 liter turbo SUV in my opinion with no other modifications except the tune um, but that's basically in general how you use K-Tuner um, this applies to any Honda Acura product that uh, they make as long as it's supported for your application make sure you check that before you purchase um, but yeah that's basically it in my case look once it's running you can see your RPM if I rev the car changes now another thing is if you have an rtx i'm not sure if this applies to other variable tunes um you want to pay attention to your k-con so let's see if it says over here where does it say it Paint parameters let's see let's see let's see I believe your KCON's here. So what it you have to pay attention is your KCON value. So if I'm not sure if I see it here. I don't see here, but on the third gen RDX, they say if you have a KCON value, I think it's over 0.60, you add like a gallon or two of E85 to these cars and it really helps build up power. Because in some areas, I live in New York, I'm not sure, my, I haven't checked, I'm actually about to go check now. Um, but if your KCON value is high, it's in a reduced timing, which is in a pull power. Um, that's usually common if you have bad gasoline. I'd go to a nice gas station, spend an extra dollar or two. Um, but if you're running, if you're, you should be putting 93 in your Acura with the 2 liter turbo. Otherwise, you really are going to be sacrificing performance on these cars. Um. In California, you put 91. In New York, we got 93, so that's why I put my car. Um, and it does really work well. But that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.